So one of the biggest questions being asked towards the end of 2019 going into 2020 when it came to making money online was what is Forex? Now, unless you live under a rock, I think it's pretty clear to everyone here today that making money online or just working from home in general is no longer a luxury that people get to have. It's more or less a necessity. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be breaking down as simple as possible for everyone here. What is Forex? The big question, what is Forex? But I'm not going to be talking about the technical sense of it um, in terms of traveling from country to country and understanding the foreign exchange market. I'm going to be breaking down what it is that you actually want to know, which is what is the money making aspect of Forex and how I can start trading in the Forex market to produce some income right here for my cell phone. So with that being said, guys, roll the intro and let's get it. What is going on guys? It is your boy Rico aka Rockstar or Rockstar FX here and today we're going to be talking about the money making aspect of trading Forex. All right. So what is Forex on the trading side? Now to understand the money making aspect of it, I think we need to go a little bit into the basics of actually understanding the foreign exchange market. So if you guys don't know what Forex is, it is short for foreign exchange. It's the largest financial market in the world. It deals with currencies. That's right. All the currencies around the world in every single country is pretty much a part of the foreign exchange market. Now, there are certain currencies that are considered major. There are certain currencies that are considered minor and there are certain currencies that are considered exotic. Regardless of the case, though, we can make money on all of them. And it's very simple. If you've ever traveled to another country before, let's say I look, I live in New York, right? So let's say I come from the US and I go down to Jamaica. Well, when I get to Jamaica, what do I have to do? One of the first things I do when I get off my flight is I'm going to exchange my US dollars for what? Jamaican dollars. Now, here's the cool part about Forex, right? The foreign exchange market, the currency value is always fluctuating. Now, we don't necessarily see that fluctuation in our everyday life when we go to the store and buy a gallon of milk. But there are little points after that decimal. So after, let's just say I have a dollar, it's 1.00. There are extra numbers after that zero that fluctuate up and down that determines the value of the US dollar. So if obviously if you live in the US, you know certain things tend to go up in value, certain things tend to go down. When we're talking about the value of a currency, we're talking about its fluctuation rate, all right, in the Forex market. So back to exchanging US dollar for Jamaica dollar. When I get there and I exchange my US for Jamaican, the price or the amount of Jamaican dollars that I get today might not necessarily be the amount of Jamaican dollars that I get if I were to go back six months from now. Here's another example. Post COVID, right? Versus pre COVID. Before the whole COVID-19 happened and everyone went on under lockdown, the, the dollar amount, whether it be US or Jamaican, it might be valued a little bit higher than it is today. Now that we're like, what, nine to 12 months into the whole COVID thing, right? So the prices are, are fluctuate pretty often. It depends on a few things. Depends on the economy. Depends on what's happening in the news, presidential elections, so on and so forth. Little things like this affect the price or the fluctuation of a currency. Now, often people compare Forex trading to stock trading. It's a good comparison if you are trying to understand how it works. It's a bad comparison if you're trying to actually get into the market to make money. So when it comes to trading Forex, just like stocks, yes, we do have to make an investment. The difference is when you're trading stocks, you're trading company value, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, whatever the case may be, I'm typically looking to buy a stock with the hopes that that stock is going to go up. Now, I do want to make it very clear. There is a difference between investing and trading. Most people know about stocks in the form of investing into stocks. And that's why most people only believe that you can make money when the market is going good. That is not the case. You see, as traders, we make money when the markets are going up or when the markets are going down, you just have to be able to tell or make the prediction of which direction it's gonna go in. So back to the example, Forex versus stocks. In stocks, we're trading company value. In Forex, we're trading currency value. So when the US dollar is going up, I am typically looking to place buys on the US dollar. When the US dollar is going down, I am typically looking to place sells 
on the US dollar versus another currency that is going up. There is always going to be buyers and sellers into the market. It's a matter or a question of which one will you be? Now, obviously, the one that does the best analysis or the one that actually knows how to trade is the one that walks away with the money. While the other person, maybe it was just a bad trade for them, or maybe, like some of you watching this video, you have no idea what it is that you're doing, you would be the one losing money versus someone like me, all right? So there's always buyers and sellers into the market. Now, how do we trade Forex? Well, it's very simple. There are plenty of platforms to be able to trade, and there are plenty of different styles of trading Forex as well. One of the most common ways to trade Forex is known um, on a platform called MetaTrader 4. In fact, most of you who watch my content, watch my content through my MetaTrader 4 tutorials. Now, the unfortunate part is, most people that get into Forex only know about MetaTrader 4 and they don't really understand the markets. They think MetaTrader 4 is an app that you can simply just download and make a bunch of money on, and that is not the case at all. You see, Forex is a skill. And just like any other skill, you have to take the time to actually learn and master the skill. So if we were looking at sports, for example, like basketball, um, there we can all probably agree that there are good basketball players and there are bad basketball players. Me personally, I'm one of the bad basketball players. I've never really been good at playing basketball. I never really cared for basketball. I've always played football uh, my entire life and that's what I liked, right? But just like with trading, it's the same thing. There are good traders and there are bad traders. Now, most people that get into trading get into it with the mindset that trading is risky, that trading, you're, you're gonna lose money, that trading is gambling. I'm here to tell you right now, if that is the mindset that you're in, you need to lose that mindset if you plan on being successful in trading. To say trading is risky is to say playing basketball is risky, okay? The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. The more you understand the sport, the better you get at the sport. The more you understand the markets, the better you'll get at trading. It's the same exact concept. Now, no, you're not gonna win every single trade. It's just not possible. But the idea isn't to win every single trade. The idea is to learn proper risk management develop yourself a trading plan and to stick with that trading plan. That is how you are going to make money in the foreign exchange market. So let's say for example, we are using MetaTrader 4, okay? We download the MetaTrader 4 app. Well, the first thing you would need to do is you would need to find yourself a Forex broker. It's kind of like a bank account, but only for trading Forex. You find a broker and then you link your broker to your MetaTrader 4. Once you do that, you'll be able to see the Forex market on your MetaTrader 4 app and based off of a strategy that you learn, yes, you have to actually learn strategies. When you're trading Forex, the market moves in patterns. And most of the time it does the same thing over and over and over again. Now, in one of our next videos, we're gonna be talking about the three types of analysis that you all can use to identify what kind of trader you are in the markets. But for the most part, a lot of people are what's called technical traders, where you use patterns to identify what's going to happen next in the market. So once you learn these, these patterns and you implement it into your strategy, you then place the trade on MetaTrader 4, and that is how you make money into the Forex market. It's not a guessing game. It's not a game of, hey, let me just press buy and press sell and hope for the best. It's an actual skill. So hopefully this video made sense to you guys. Hopefully this provided some kind of value and insight to you on what is Forex on the money making side of it. Um, and if it did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, share it out with a friend or two, and hit subscribe if you have not already done so because this is only day number two of the Forex Marathon. So let's run it up, let's get it. As always, this is your boy Rockstar. I'm out, peace.